Hey guys, it's Hector. Welcome back to my channel. That was such an awkward introduction. Um, today is going to be my July favorites. I get June and July mixed up very often. I don't have a lot of stuff, so I guess I'll just kind of run through it, but um, I'm going to kind of explain stuff at the end about what's going to be happening this next month. Um, but anyways, let me go ahead and get started. Um, I'll start with hair stuff. Um, first thing is this Beyond the Zone flipped out spray on styler. It's basically like, it's like a hairspray, but it just like freezes your hair where it is. And I really like it because it will hold my hair like basically all day. And I can just, um, like I go upside down and spray it, kind of get it in the roots a little bit and then just like come back up and like really like make it look natural but still like super volumized and all that stuff. This brush, it's kind of dirty. It is the wet brush and it is for kind of like detangling hair and stuff. Um, as you can see the bristles are kind of like, they're kind of long and so they don't really catch on to um, knots or anything and I use this wet or dry. So this is one of the first brushes that I want to talk about. Um, I used it today. And this is the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush. And this is a really good um, brush for concealer. I use this for concealer around my eyes, around the inner corner, and around the bottom of the brow. Because I tend to highlight a lot more there and put more concealer there. I know I look kind of weird today. I like I kind of just slapped on makeup today. I'll put apply my concealer, and then I'll use this to kind of blend it out. Blend it in over here, and then up. A little bit on my forehead whichever if I'm doing a little bit of contouring and highlighting I usually stray away from these kind of like flat kind of brushes but I don't know I really like this one it blends really really well um, almost better than a sponge next brush is the another real techniques brush and this is the buffing brush I like this a lot for buffing like literally anything out on my face like um, I'll buff out concealer at the edges, I'll buff out my foundation, the edges of my contour, um, even, I even use this for mineral foundation, um, it's just like really really good for blending out like anything, but this is like amazing, like I don't know where this has been my whole life, I love it. Um, so I will probably buy another one of these soon, but they don't, they only sell this in the the face set or whatever so I'm gonna have to wait until like they put it by itself and I've been having this foundation sitting on my vanity for a like a while now and I used to really love it like last summer and I don't know I picked it back up or whatever I know I probably should throw this away after six months but it's been like a year but it's the nearly naked by Revlon makeup um, in 150 nude um, it is slightly light on me, but I have not tanned yet, as of yet, like all summer, because I've been working and schooling like this whole summer, so I haven't tanned at all, and this like basically matches me, and it's like my fall shade, so it's kind of sad, but I, I do like this. Um, I had just hadn't been touching it. I've been trying out a lot of different foundations and like CC creams. There's like a fly in here, and um... I just recently was like, okay, let me just try it again. And I was like, oh my god, it's it applies very thick. I'm not gonna lie, it does. But like once you're blending it out and everything, you find that it's not too makeup y. It does blend out really well. I really do like that. It smells like um it kinda smells like olive oil though. Another foundation, this is the Tarte Um Light Medium Neutral. Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. This says light to medium skin with yellow and pink undertones. This stuff, I hated. Like, the first two or three weeks I had it, I was like, oh my god, this stuff sucks. Like, why did I buy this? I didn't return it. I was like, okay, I'll just give it a chance. And then I stopped using it for like a week or two. And then I recently picked it up, like, in the past few weeks or so. And, what is this? Is there a bug crawling on me? I really like it. I have the Air Buki brush that comes with it, like that's supposed to be used with it, and I do like that for applying it. Like it works really well to apply the foundation, and as you can see, it has like a kind of mesh coating. You've probably seen this before, maybe, but it has like a mesh um, net kind of thing, as you can see. I don't know. It's just 
it's really interesting. Like, I love the packaging. Um, it's not, like, that pretty. But it's very innovative, I feel like, because it doesn't get everywhere. Like, I could throw this in my bag, this whole thing in my bag, and it would literally not get anywhere. Because of this little stopper thing, and then the netting, and it closes, and it's it's not going to get everywhere or anything. And I'll use the little air boogie brush to apply it all over, and then I'll use that Real Techniques buffing brush to really like take my time and kind of buff it out but I really like it now as long as I blend it out really well it tends to last all day um, with or without setting powder next thing is the NYX HD concealer again I'm sorry but this one's in yellow CW10 um, this is a yellow concealer you probably won't be able to see this swatch um, but it's just a really yellow tone concealer can you see that? It's basically yellow. Um, and I use this... Ow. Okay. I use this um, either under my eyes or I'll use it at different parts of my face. I don't know. I kind of try it out different ways. And it seems to work really well. I'm wearing some of it today on my under eyes a little bit. I know you're supposed to use like an orange, um, like either eyeshadow or corrector to help combat like purple or blue eye bags or anything but it looks like literally you can barely see it because I'm like so I'm a yellow tone so this kind of blends in really well I have three more things to talk about um first one is this NYX eyebrow gel this stuff just came out probably three or four weeks ago so you may have seen it on YouTube uh let me know if you want me to do a review on this I'm sure people have but it is just an eyebrow gel. It's waterproof. I it's an EBG03 brunette. Didn't I talk about this already? I don't know. I don't know. This stuff is awesome. I tend to do it on the very bottom part of my brow, so I'll like very lightly go over it, really short strokes, and then just kind of blend upward a little bit. That's how I do everything. Like for my brows, I'll use like either a, a dark dark brown powder. Um, that's kind of that's pretty neutral like I don't want it to be uh, cool toned or warm toned it, I just want it to be a neutral brown and then I'll just put it up this one's kind of kind of ashy it's a I don't know it I don't the color doesn't exactly match my my eyebrow hair it does keep my brows looking really um defined the one downside to this product I would say is just it does dry out your brush it will dry on your brush and you do kind of have to wash it so do pay attention with that. Try to like at least rinse it or something because it will stick and it will dry and it sucks. So I try to do that, but of course, you know, we all get lazy. So that's another reason why I use powder sometimes because I'm lazy, but I digress. This is a good product. Try it out. Next is the um, Organic Wear CC Curl Plus Care Physician Formula Mascara. Oh gosh, that's a lot. It's in ultra black. Um, it's curling. I'm wearing it today. I think just by itself, just this. I didn't curl my lashes today. I just used this, and it smells like green tea. It's really nice. I like the brush. It's like a. It's just a curve. I wouldn't say it's like. It's not like a um, a spoon. It's kind of more of like a jalapeno or like a banana shaped kind of brush thing. Helps out with length and a little bit of volume, but it's very natural mascara, so I, I love it a lot. So, I don't know how my lashes are looking today, but that's what I'm wearing. Just this. Um, no other mascara. And sometimes I'll curl my lashes with this, and sometimes I won't. This mascara is awesome. Try it out if you like a more natural look. Last thing is the NYX Color Mascara in... Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, in blue okay very creative um it is like your conventional it's a little bit bigger than normal the wand and it's like a really beautiful like cobalt blue like it's so beautiful i love this um you it is a bit of a tricky product you do kind of have to layer it just wait like 30 seconds after your first coat and then go in again and then wait like 10 seconds just do it like three times like i mean it's a process but it is a really nice effect um, I've gotten comments on it, like, people like it, I think it's interesting, um, and it's not too crazy, like, you can't really tell unless you're probably about 5 to 10 feet away from the person. That was basically all my stuff for today, um, my likes, 
I feel like I was sitting awkward this whole video. I'm sorry. This month, well, okay, I don't know when this video is going up, but in August, I want to focus on like just different stuff, you know, nail tutorials, nail things, beauty things. Um, leave a request below for like any nail tutorials or anything or anything you want to see. Stay tuned for those things. Um, so what else? Yeah, so I will be just basically working and revamping a couple things here and there um, and hopefully posting more videos. We'll see how that goes, just depending on what's going on. I don't even know what's going to happen this month. Literally yesterday, I finished my finals. Like, I'm so glad. Um, I can finally breathe. Like, my hands are sweating, but I can finally breathe and, like, just relax for a month and just like recharge before it the going gets tough again and i will catch you later here on this channel i will see you when i see you hopefully it's very very soon i'm sure it will be like very soon um anyways bye i'm so tired today like do you ever have those days where you're just like I pulled an all-nighter and I just feel like I am, I am out, um, yeah, okay, I will see you when I see you, goodbye.